one of the very first uh, stocking stuffers that I really wanted to work on was something that's household that people have around. Uh, you don't have, a, have to have a lot of materials. And that's why I created this cute little hand game here. It's kind of hard to tell, but we're going to rock on over to Craft Cam and show you how it looks up close. And then we're going to make it. It's going to be a little bit more than a warm up craft, but it's going to be a total blast. All right, let's rock on over to da -na 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 crap can. All right, we're already over that. So, <laughs> so as you can see, it's one of those fun little rolly games where you have to get the little balls into the hole. Holes, plural. And as you can see, I'm doing a very bad job of that. But you can also see that I personalized it by putting dad right here and I'm going to make one for each person in my family and they're going to get maybe different colored stamp backgrounds or even just different kinds of stamps in the background. I put a little button in the middle just to make it that much harder for people to get that done and it is so easy to do. I'll give you a guess based on what's on my on my craft table right now and what this is primarily made from, what this base is made from. <laughs> It's not a lid, it's actually, I'll give you one more guess, ramen cup. Oh, you could use a ramen cup. There's actually a lot of different things that you could use for this. Cliff used the top part of um, a, what is that? Ooh, ice cream. He's top part of an ice cream container. Look at that, he even put bling in it. He's like going crazy with it. So hello, totally awesome. This is ice cream, but this one right here, which is smaller, and I think just um, just simple and really easy to use, is actually a part of just a nice little, you know, hard paper cup. And the bottom of it, that's exactly what we're using. So it's really easy to do that. And then I'll just show you how to walk, I'll walk you through that. And you know what's even cooler? about this is if you don't have things like uh, perfectly round beads or BBs, uh, which Cliff and I don't have at home, you know Cliff is just a genius. Guess what these little black things are, these little black things are that are rolling around in here. Guess, guess, yeah they're peppercorns, good job Roberta, you did a good job, maybe Cliff told you earlier, but I thought that was genius. I was. I was, um, you know, racking my brain. What in the heck am I going to put in there? And uh, Cliff said, well, let's use peppercorns. They're round enough. And, and sure enough, they are. They're totally round enough. So <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Definitely a, a clever dude. And again, personalize it. The other, the materials that you're going to need are a little piece of acetate. This is just kind of like a little plastic paper. If you don't have acetate, you can use any sort of thin type of plastic that's easy to cut. Very, very, uh, you can find that probably in your kitchen somewhere and some plastic food containers, that sort of thing. You can definitely use that. A piece of thicker cardstock. You know, I just have a regular cardstock here. In whatever color you want, I'm just using this cream color because I have a ton of it and because I wanted to stamp a really neat image on it as well. Then you're going to need yourself a cup or, you know, like Cliff used, he used the top of an ice cream container, so you can do that as well. The reason why I like these little cups is because, for the most part, you're going to get this just really basic color on the side, and you're not going to have to cover it up, and the bottom part of your piece is going to be white, so you don't have to do any cover up there either. So it's going to be really, really hard for people to see that, you know, you've made this out of a cup bottom. And uh, we'll just start digging in and get going with it. The way that I cut up my my um, cup is I just cut four slits all the way down so that I have an easy way to get the whole thing cut apart and all the way down there. And just cutting around now and it will just come off in quarters as I cut around. Just get my the bottom piece is a little bit more flush and nice. Aha! Alright. So, just like that, and voila! We have that, and I have just a tiny bit of a lip here, so I'm just going to go through and take that off. 
And this is this cup is so nice because it actually is just perfectly flat on the bottom and I don't have to worry about any warping, anything like that. Although Cliff made a good point. He said, wait, he said, well, you know, if you have warping, it doesn't really matter because it just adds to the challenge of the whole game, which I know if we give these to our parents, they're gonna be cursing us <laughs> for doing that to them. Here's another handy tip. You can either do it this way or you can do it another way. What I did is instead of tracing around here, on both my acetate and my cardstock is I got my my little stamp pad out the color that I'm going to use on my stamp I took the rim part not the part that I just cut but the bottom part here and I just put it on my stamp just like that and then I just stamped it right onto my paper so that I know exactly where to cut for the cardstock part which is going to be the stamped inside decorative part um, you're going to probably have to cut just on the inside of the lines. I'll show you how to do that. And on the acetate part, you're going to cut right on the line. So I'm just going to do the same thing and just put a nice stamp there. And that way, no tracing, no craziness. I just have it done. And although I have a little bit of that ink around the edge there, it's okay. It's the same color that I'm going to be using in my stamp. So it's all going to coordinate. Now, um, like I said, I'm going to cut out my acetate just right along the line that I just created. I'm using my little Fiskar scissors here. I love these guys. And then in the meantime, you're also going to want to warm up your hot glue gun, put it on the low setting, or get your fast drying glue ready because uh, I'm impatient and I don't like to wait for things, so I like to get my, my glues ready to use. And we're also going to be using just a glue runner for the inside portion because I don't like to wait for my glues to dry to actually get my instant gratification out of this. So I have that nice and cut there. And like I said, for the cardstock, you're going to, you're going to want to cut on the inside of it just so that it will fit right into the cup. All right. And don't worry about it being perfect. We don't care about perfection. It has to look handmade and has to look like it came with some love. And I'm just gonna give it, it probably isn't gonna fit. Oh, maybe it will. Oh, perfect. Perfect, darling. But before I actually put it in there, of course what I need to do is give it a stamp. I'm using the Martha Stewart Clear Acrylic Pattern Stamp. I use this stamp on everything. And here, just put four holes in with your hole punch. You can do however you want. Um, another really fun idea would be to put like a little Christmas tree stamp in here or even print it out. And then you can, uh, you know, put little, little holes where the ornament should be. Don't you remember those? I love those where you could find these little games and they were a Christmas theme, that sort of thing. I love doing that stuff. Let me, this is bugging me that the edges are just a little bit bare. So I'm actually going to use the rest of my ink to just finish that up a little bit because it was bugging me so much. All right, there. Okay, so then that's what it's gonna look like put on in the inside there. And the easiest way to do that is to use your glue runner. I got this one from the dollar store. Uh, and then you're gonna just give yourself a little bit of glue runner. It doesn't seem to take much for these. And of course you don't wanna go over the holes or else you're gonna get <laughs> your peppercorns stuck in there and you don't want there's no game in that and to give it just a little bit more of a uh, challenge I put a button right in the middle doesn't that look really cute and festive kind of like target style just with a little bit of hot glue I just put a little button in the middle just to make it a little bit harder and how cute. Now I have to get my four peppercorns. Wouldn't it be funny to make a rule of the game if people got really good at it? To, uh, to like, you have to hop one of the peppercorns up on top. <laughs> that would be so wrong and awesome. Just make sure your peppercorns don't have the little stems on them. I'm trying to choose the right little peppercorns here. And if, like I said, you don't have to use peppercorns. If you have round beads or, or BBs that could even be more fun and more challenging. You can have different sizes and you can cut different size holes and, and that sort of thing. So it can be a, a totally different type of challenge and you can make it all your own. Before I put my acetate on, I'm going to write um, somebody's name on here because it is a little personal gift and 
I want to write my mom's name. Actually, I just want to write mom. So I'm just going to write mom in blue ink. And I might go over it a couple times. This is just a Sharpie. Very easy alcohol ink. It's going to be permanent. And with that same blue, I'm going to go in and I'm going to fill in my little holes here so that you can see how defined they are. And this is where you need to get those little peppercorns. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep going. All right. So that's very festive. <laughs> you could put a bullseye in it. It would be really fun. All right. Now, this is really up to you how you want to adhere this. I use, of course, some warm glue from my hot glue gun. And I, all I did actually was just put a little bit around the edges, wiping around the edges, kind of just cleaning it up a little bit. And just on the top and the bottom, you don't have to worry about like sealing it shut. I don't think your peppercorns are gonna escape too much. And then before you put it on, just make sure that your edges are as, you know, as sealed as they possibly could be. And then voila, you're gonna have a little bit of excess, but that's okay because what I said, like I said earlier, you can go around the edges with multiple things. You can go around with glitter, you can go around with a marker like I'm about to do, you can do anything you want. Um, but for me to make it easy, I'm just gonna go around right quick with a Sharpie marker, right around the edge and voila it's final so we're gonna have cliff rocket on back over to <laughs> back over to head cam and we can show you both of these and how they turned out as a really fun little set here if you want to find out more about these handheld cute little stocking stuff for games go to andreacurrycrafts.com and check out our youtube channel because we always break this down into fun segments